So a quick recap of what we've done so far. We created the contact addresses for the contact and from there we created a quote. We used those contact addresses, one for the billing and one for the shipping. And it's nice to have those because you can use multiple addresses based on where the customer wants the order shipped to or the project quoted for. Then we converted that quote into a sales order which we see here. From there we created a shipment which you would see over here and you see we also created a purchase order against this. So now we're ready to bill this order and in this case the customer issued us a purchase order and they paid nothing. Had they paid with a credit card this would say credit card here and the amount paid would match the amount of the invoice or the, the sales order. So in this case what we're gonna do we're gonna change the status from open to billing. Billing is a trigger that automatically creates the invoice, copies everything over to a new invoice, and if there's a payment to be applied to it, it creates the payment and applies it to it. In this case, this was a purchase order, so the amount due is going to be the full amount of the invoice. Let's go ahead and kick that off. Hit save. Perfect. You'll see immediately it turns it to closed. That's because it went ahead and created an invoice against this sales order. And here we have it. The invoice was created. If we go check on this invoice, you'll see, just as you would hope, the billing information is correct. The shipping information that was shipped to is correct. The customers received a nice PDF email copy of that invoice. So to take a look at the invoice PDF that the customer would have received, we come over here and we go preview PDF. As mentioned before, you can change the logo and any of the text here by simply using the WYSIWYG editor for our PDF template tool. Here is a sample of what a an invoice would look like as a PDF attachment. References their purchase order, their purchase order number, the items that were included in this order, tracking information. If there were multiple shipments, they would be listed out here with the shipping method. It also shows the, to the subtotal of the order, tax, shipping, any discount that was provided with a new total, and then any amount received and the final balance due. So this one has a balance due. So this looks really good. The customer is going to be impressed. We efficiently processed their quote, turned it into an order, got the purchase order for a supplier to drop ship some product to them, and then we turned around and efficiently emailed them a nice PDF invoice from which they can pay. Without diving into it at this point, it's important to note that for this account, it, the user is able to go in and set up the account's payable contact for this account. So that means that if they have a special email address they like to see the invoices sent to, it will send not only to this contact but it will send to the accounts payable contact for the account 